So I have here seven pieces of chicken. Uh, you can do wings, you can do drumsticks, you can do breasts, whatever floats your boat. Um, I tend to cut mine. When I cut mine, some people don't like the skin in it. I, I kind of like the skin of mine. Um, but I don't eat the skin though. When I cook it, I take the skin off. But I cut the meat, I don't know if you see it, on the side. So when you season it, it can really get in there. And when you let it sit for a couple minutes, you know, got that juice off the bone type stuff. So let's get it. First things first, don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. Don't ever overdo it. So I'm always telling brothers, man, if you want to get sick, get high blood cholesterol, all that good stuff, you use a lot of salt. But usually I just like to do a little bit of that joint, you know, just a little bit of taste. You hear me? And, um, Badia seasoning. I'm not gonna lie to you. For all my brothers out there that don't know how to cook, if you want to season anything in your whole life, I'm. If you want to season anything, you're making stew, you're making crock pot. I don't care what you're making. I put this on everything, brother. Everything, whatever. I'm, it says it, man. Complete seasoning, the best complete seasoning in the world. Shout out to Badia. I need a sponsor, by the way. I'm not playing. <laughs> but. With the, with the seasoning though, I mean, it's up to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, with the badia, I like to go ham on it sometimes, you know, on if you can. I like to go ham on it, you know, big time ham. But I will stir it. You know what I'm saying? You still gotta make the stuff together and stuff. And at some point you might, f you're gonna feel like you need some stuff more than others. Um, what am I gonna say? is don't overdo with the salt the seasoning you can overdo it you'll be okay but with the salt it's gonna get salty food so be careful with that and you don't really need to measure anything cooking is an art you wing it baby no cups no measurements none of that shit excuse my french this korean barbecue i'll put that shit just for the flavor you know a little bit of a little bit of, you know, Korean barbecue on there. You know what I'm saying? Well, shout out to Lady V, my sister. She be using that thing. My sister would use the whole bottle. <laughs> she love her some barbecue. Shout out little sis. And, bam, jerk seasoning. If you're cooking chicken, all right? I don't care if you're black, white. <laughs> so, this, I say put like two big spoons, depending on how much chicken you're making. You can't go wrong with the jerk seasoning, by the way. You cannot go wrong with the jerk seasoning. I say put two, like I'm, I made seven pieces of chicken. I'm going to put like two big ass spoons. God, excuse my French. Like two big spoons, maybe three of these right here, maybe four. You know, normal spoons though. Um, all that good stuff. All right. Back. You know with the jerk seasoning it gets sloppy it gets messy so if you want them pretty boys like oh I'm not gonna get in the kitchen to get my nails done because I'm too fresh I got too much swag I'm gonna let my girl come here and cook this for me you don't belong in the kitchen and you don't want to talk about jerk seasoning so if you're about that life don't chuck jerk seasoning it gets really messy your hands smell you know I'm saying personally I love the way that thing smells man I love the jerk seasoning I I won't, I won't, I wouldn't want my girl to smell like that though, but some niggas like that shit. I don't know. It's up to you. To each his own. You hear me? After that, wash your hands. Before you cook, you should wash your hands anyway. I already did mine, but for educational purposes, I can do it for y'all people. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all don't. Dirty. You know what I mean? Ah, then you get in there. You stir, you make it work, you know, with love. You got that thing with love, you know? You gotta put your shoulder into it. Mmm. 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 -mm. You gotta put your back into it, too. Get 
do the hot and shake too. You hear me? <laughs> I say a little bow wow. You just don't know. Do what you turn this chick. <laughs> you see? Boom. You see what I'm talking about? Your hands come out like this. It's gonna end up smelling like jerk anyway. This is the pr product we have so far. Can y'all see the ah? I just want like a little girl, didn't I? I just creep like a little girl, didn't I? <laughs> There's a finished product right there, y'all. It's good. It smells good. It's going to taste even better, baby. Tu es mignon, je suis mignon, c'est la bogosité. So, you know, I'm going to add just a little bit more drug seasoning on there to make y'all mad. So remember, salt, don't overdo it. Badia seasoning, you can overdo it. Barbecue, depend how much barbecue you want on there. Shout out to Lady V. Jerk seasoning, it's up to you, depending how much jerk seasoning you want on there. Shout out to all my Jamaicans that put me on, by the way. We don't have this shit in Africa, FYI. So, salute to all my real Rastafarian. Wash your hands again. So, that took about how long? Five minutes? Ten minutes? I'm gonna say ten minutes at the most. Um, at the most, ten minutes. But um, this is the finished product right here of the season chicken. What I'm gonna do now. I'm going to let this bad boy sit. All right? I'm going to go play some Madden, like a game or two. I'm going to come back, throw this bad boy in the oven, make some rice on top of it, have it for dinner. So, let's go play some Madden. You hear me? We're back. You know, just finished playing Madden. Blah, blah, woo, woo. I lost by field goal, but... Shout out to the Redskins. You know. Hey, talk about the Redskins. The draft pick, you better get my man Harry Quangio. AK-77. More lethal than AK-47. You hear me? So, yeah. Back to our regular activities, though. That's the chicken right there. You know what I'm saying? You made it look a little semi. The juice of the seasoning. I usually pour it on top of the chicken. You know what I'm saying? You know what grandma gives? People like eat like this. Mm. I got kinda hungry. I grabbed the snack real quick, but um you know, same. I'm a fat ass young already, you know. So, finish it was up. Right over here. Um, oven temperature. I'm okay. This is my thing with the oven thing. All right, I cook everything at 275 or 350 between 275 and 350. That's what I cook everything on. It's up to you. I mean, don't put it too hot now because if you put it too hot, it's gonna burn. So let's do 300, maybe 325. So maybe. This is a question I have for someone who's watching this. What temperature do you put do you cook the chicken on? Me, it's like this. I'd rather it be low and take a long time to cook than be high, burn. You know what I'm saying? Like burn meaning it's not cooked on the inside. It looks cooked on the outside, but that's the kind of thing you end up in a bathroom here. Me. So um we're gonna chill for like a 30 minutes, starting now. 45 to an hour or so. You can sit there <laughs> look at this sexy Cameroonian face, you know what I'm saying? Walk it turn this camera off and come back in 30 minutes. What about that? 